<clears throat> Jeff, can you grab me a roll of to uh, paper towel, please? Because this one is too curly. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to drive me nuts. Hey, everybody. So, well, that might be okay. Thank you. Well, I'm going to have two sheets of paper towel. Okay, so yesterday I got my journal. This is how I'm going to make my cover, and I'm going to put fabric on it. But I used a old um, gardening book. I just used the cover of it because it's, hi Florence, because it's kind of uh, nice and thick, and it's it's. I want it to be a little bit flexible, this journal. So I cut it rounded here and I kind of like it like that, but I need to gesso this because I don't want this to show through on the fabric. So I'm just gonna put some nice heavy gesso on this baby. Heavy is best because it will cover it really good. I'm probably gonna need two coats. And this is my DT project for a guest designer for Dreams Etc. But yeah, I don't want uh, I don't want this showing through onto the fabric, so I'm definitely going to need to to coat it for sure. Two coats. Hi, Tracy. How are you guys? So this heavy gesso, this is the Finnebear heavy gesso. It's got, it's very thick and it doesn't have a lot of water in it, which is awesome for especially paper and stuff. It won't warp your paper. So that's why I like to use this white gesso, thick stuff. So I am going to put a couple of coats on here. Because I really don't want this to show through my beautiful fabric I'm going to be using on this. And because this collection is a lot of purple in it, I'm using some really pretty purple fabrics. So, hi, Grammin. Hi, Lise. So, let me just give this quick dry. Gesso dries pretty quickly. I don't want to hide my thumb there. It will get burnt. Yeah, you can still see through the gesso. So it's going to need a couple of coats for sure. And then I'll attach the fabric to it. And I already got my pages all set. Hi, Linda. You're not late, Linda. I just started. Like I got all my signatures ready, but I'm gonna do something a little different this time.
I am not going to sew in my signature this time. All right, that should be good enough already for a second coat. I am going to work on my signatures pages before I sew my signatures in this time. I really hope my fabric doesn't show this stuff through it. I don't want it to. Although it is pretty to have all these flowers. Couldn't have picked a better book. <laughs> all right. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Looking pretty good. And I did a lower spine this time just to make it different. Like, I don't want to make something the same all the time. So I made a lower spine, as you can see. It doesn't go to the top or to the bottom. And I rounded the edges so I could have another different look as well. So... But I will mod podge. I will be mod podging my fabric onto this. And then I'm going to give it a bit of glitter. <laughs> you guys know me. We need glitter. This paint, this gesso is super duper thick. So I think two coats are going to cover this very well. Very, very well. And I think that's cool. Okay. Let's dry it up. I want to dry it enough that I could put the... Um... Oh, you did, Linda? I got it all cut out this morning. I got it printed all out. I'll show you some different things that I've done that I haven't showed yet. Oh, darn it. Didn't want to do that. Right. Just gonna touch that up because I made a mess right here. Fix it. I can see it still very wet in spots because it's shining. Thank you. 
Okay. I think that looks pretty good. It's very still wet. Hi, Louisa. Now, let's get our fabric. Let me move this out of my way. All right. So, we'll cut off a piece. Okay. Yeah. So I want to cut it a little bigger than the actual, well, about an inch. Well, I want to flip that over. So let's pull it down a little bit here. All right. So I'm going to grab a ruler. Grab my rotary tool. And I'm going to cut an inch off. Or I'm going to cut it an inch overhang. I'm really no good cutting with my left hand, but we're going to do it. Okay. And an inch there. So we'll go all the way to there first. Should be good. All right. So throw that in the garbage. Oopsies. Put my fabric back. Now, that's going to be the fabric, which is dragonflies. And so far, I can't see through it, which I'm glad. All right, now I need my spine piece, and we're going to use a darker fabric for the spine. So... Um, where are my pinking shears? I don't have them out. Oh, well, all right. I don't have them out. Okay, this doesn't look very straight to me. I need it to be straight. I want it to cover to there. Okay. 
<laughs> Where is that hole? Right there. And let's see, how big of a piece do I want to overlap this? I want it to overlap about an inch and a half on each side. So here, let me do it this way. So right about there. This is really pretty fabric. There's my piece of fabric. All right, we're done with cutting fabric. I can sit down. Now I want to mod podge this. The fabric. Oh, thank you, Kristen. Now we're going to get a new paintbrush. Get my bigger one. And we're going to Mod Podge. And I'm going to put this on thick, really thick, because I want the fabric to be able to harden up a little bit. And I don't want this to dry before I get the fabric on it. And then I'm just going to set this aside and leave it dry overnight. See how nice and thick that is? Okay. Let's move this. Let's grab our fabric. And let's make sure it's upright. And let's grab our little magic booklet. And let's try to center it on here. All right, try to give it an inch everywhere. Now, I want it to be crinkly. So, This is why I put the Mod Podge on super thick, which that did not stay. Whoops. Whoops. Oops. 
Would that be? Be the monster. Hi, Lynn. Hi, monster. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My noisy house. All right. Now, let's just coat it nicely with a little bit of Mod Podge. Just a little. Hey, Deborah and Kathy. Hi, everybody. And now you're going to get your fingers in here and you're going to really crinkle it up. Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Okay. I think we're getting this good and wrinkly. Looking pretty good. Yep, looks pretty good. Check on the back. Lock the room to turn it over. I like playing with this in my hands. Can you tell? Hi. Now, let me grab a baby wipe. Because I really don't like this stuff on my hands. But I had no choice. Now, I'm going to put a heavy coat here. Let's fold this in half. Find the center. my book ending here oh shoot oh my who's there all right i'm just gonna pick it up and bend it this is that enough on each side might be
All right. I think I'm going to leave this. I'll put my glitter on it. And then I'm going to leave it sit overnight. And look at the magic tomorrow of it. And it's best to put your glitter on while your Mod Podge is still wet. Hi, Lisa. All right, I think that's enough for now. I would say it is. Let me lift it up so you can have a little look-see. Very glittery. Now I'm going to just droop it over something so that the Mod Podge will harden with my spines um, bent. That's the way I want it. I like that dragonfly fabric. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right. You want to. What's not really attached or glued down, I will glue it down with glue tomorrow. But yeah. That's you want to hang it up so that your spine doesn't go all hard on you and you can't access it. You won't be able to bend it. So I'm going to droop it over all these papers I have to cut out like so. And I'm just going to leave it. Let it go for the night because that's going to take overnight to dry for sure. Now, wipe this much put it off of my mat. Not like I care about this mat anyway. This thing is crap. It's warped. The heat tool don't work on it. It warped on me. So, yeah, it's just a junky old mat. All right. I dry it because it's wet. There. There we go. My hands are a bit sticky. Now, is this sticky still? Get it. Uh, so, now, I want to show you I've gotten everything cut out. For the romantic notions. So these are all my sentiments cut out. These are also um, ephemera cut out, but it's cut out on different media. So it's cut out on acetate, vellum, uh, rice paper. So those are separate. And then I took her, um, one of her backgrounds. Because you guys know how I like to take a piece of ephemera and put something on the back that has lines on it. So I took this 
and to Photoshop, I cut a picture out of her background. I cut this piece out and I put some lines on it and I put the word journal on it because I like to use these. And I printed this off on regular paper so it's super thin. So I, pick, I cut smaller ones, medium and larger ones. And then this is all my ephemera from her from her kit, all cut out. And the scan and cut does not cut it. I tried, guys. So, and these are all the envelopes cut out again on all kinds of different media: vellum, acetate, rice paper, uh, 110 pound cardstock. Um, what else? Junky paper. I cut it out on the back. <laughs> of the acetate sheet that's in your packaging. This is just all the background paper. So I'll be using this throughout the journal. For the, oh, and then I cut, there's also my regular line stuff in there that I like for um, making little booklets. So this is all the stuff I got all prepared, ready to go in my journal. So, Jeff, can you come and get these brushes and put them in um, a cup with some water, hot water, please? Or they're going to harden. And only fill the water up to here. Fill the water up to where? Up to here. Don't go past this because then the brush gets wet with the wood and it swells and the things fall off. Here, you can take them. Take yourself in the kitchen. Just. Fill it up in there as long as that's the edge right here. A little past that, so that other stuff gets off. Okay, so what I did yesterday is I prepped all my signatures, but this time I am not going to sew my signatures into my journal. I'm going to work off of each page individually. That way, if I want to gesso it, modge podge it, add some fabric to it. I can still do that while it's not even sewed in. So I'm going to just leave everything loose until I get done. So I tried to do an average of anywhere from six to eight pages, full pages, not including the ephemera, of six signatures. So there's six signatures here. I wanted it nice and thin, but it's really pretty. And I got to do a lot of trimming. So once I, I'm going to trim this down to fit inside my book, right now everything's just all really long and hanging down. So this is like one signature. I have not sewed it in. So I used an, an, a doily for every signature on the front, and I used one of her backgrounds for the first page in every one of my signatures. And then they all became different. So I used a piece of vellum here. This one, I took one of those hankies I got from the antique shop yesterday, cut it in half, and I got it in another signature, the other half. I took just really this, look, April 23rd to May 8th, 1968. I put an actual piece of that old paper in here. I put some of this in it. There's a receipt. So I'm just going to work off of everything individually. So, and then when I feel it's good, and this is really old paper. Another piece of old paper. I love this. Service to the nation in peace and war. And then I'm going to end with an envelope. So that's all the pages that I put in this one signature. And that's how I'm going to do all of this. Letters to the editor. So the reason I cut out those. So for something like this, I might use a belly clip. Those ones that I made. Or make new ones. I'm going to put some lace on. I'm just going to put something here to journal on. And I put a glassine envelope. This is really old paper out of an old, old scrapbook. Really old. And there, this would be the other side of that journal. And there's the other piece of the napkin. Now see something like this. I think I'll want to mod podge this just to protect it and give it a little bit more strength. So that's probably something I'm going to do. And see, this is too long. It's got to be trimmed. And then that's the back half of her paper. 
which is so beautiful. I don't think I'm going to cover any of these up except with embelly clips. So that's how I done all my signatures. So I just put a little bit of different um, ephemeras in it. This one's got the different hanky. This, these are hanker, old, old handkerchiefs that I got from that uh, antique shop. So I'll probably want to um, mod podge that as well because you just don't want to leave it. So that's how I done this one. I just put another piece of old paper, an old receipt from, geez, uh, I don't know, 12. So the 28th of December, 1988. It's an old receipt. And these are all old pictures, high school girl, <laughs> January 13th. That came out of the Life magazine that I have, the really old Life magazine. And then this one, I've got one of her envelopes that's on rice paper. So that's how that one looks. And because there's a lot of beautiful purple in this, oh my God, the purple in this is so pretty. So this is fairly thin. But it won't be thin when I'm done with it. Hey, KK. So, yeah, that's signature number two. So, signature number three is a doily and one of her beautiful paper. And then Ruby's just, like one of those old moms that has to feed everybody, but only she does it to her journals. Plumps them up. Yes. Fatten it up. So I put some of my old coffee dyed paper in. There's an envelope that I printed on. Um, and that's her her paper line design. So I printed it on that envelope. And another piece from that Life magazine. This is a real, this is real money that's really old. And I put it in here. So there's a cookie recipe, really old book of that came out of. Look at, look at the equipment, sunbeam, irons, toasters, that's so cute. And then there's a, an envelope that's going to go in the middle that will hide my stitching. So yeah, this is a real dollar bill. He sold these to me for super cheap, but I told him what I was doing with them. So I don't want to pay a hefty price if I put it in a junk journal. And then there's coffee paper and then the glassy envelope. So I'm going to work on, look at how beautiful this is. Like I'm not covering this up. I'm just going to stick an embelly clip on all these beautiful papers of her. I don't want to hide them, but you want to have places to journal on them. So that's signature three. This is signature number four. There again, I've got the other half of that handkerchief. Look at this. This is just so pretty. And then we've got coffee stained uh, recipe card envelope. This I tore out of one of those vintage books I got from Universal Pictures. You can tell it's really old. Then I got some coffee stained doily, coffee stained glossine envelopes, a hunk of paper from 19 something, a uh, really old piece of music note, uh, another little bill receipt from June. 1986, and that's an envelope, and this is a piece of coffee-stained vellum. It's very dirty. It's color. I think it's blue. And then over to this side is where I printed her her backgrounds. Or this was her ephemera page. I printed it right on the envelope because I thought it was pretty. And then there's that. Another music note. Another old newspaper clipping. Those. Unit television, NBC, and look at a little map on the back of that. So that's signature number four. So you can see I did not bulk them. I kept them really thin because you know what I'm like. I know myself what I'm like. This one, however, got a little thicker and I don't, oh, I know why because it's, I'll show you why. So this one here is her background. Look at how pretty, how beautiful is that? So you're going to open it up. And then we got another uh, old piece out of the Life magazine from 1928, I think it was. And then there's this old coffee bag 
which I'm going to turn that into a pocket. It's actual coffee, and I don't want to cover this up too much. But I will put some ephemera on it just to make it pretty. But coffee. This is a bag I, I coffee dyed that myself. And there. And this is what KK sent me. This is a piece of fabric. So, and it's already all nice and stiff piece of material. And that's just a glossy envelope piece of fabric or piece of paper another doily or not doily handkerchief and then this is from the life magazine so i just tore it out of that page and cut it in half thought that was kind of cute and then there we go so this is a little bit thicker this one and i think it's because of that coffee bag and then this is just graph paper that i coffee stained I actually printed the graph out and then that's part of that page from the old thing there and then it goes like so and I used a different background of hers on every signature so all six signatures because there's 12 backgrounds in her collection and then finally nope this one's the same and then it's just got this Oh, wait, this is upside down by the looks of it. Wait. Oh, that's right. This is the way this was printed. So I'm going to cover this up. That's the old Royal Edward Hotel that we used to have here. This is a lot of Thunder Bay where I live. A lot of Thunder Bay um, old stuff from Fort William. And this one says uh beaver lumber company limited head office winnipeg that doesn't even exist beaver lumber anymore hasn't existed for many many years there another piece i put another dollar bill in that one this is old foreign money and he told me it was real and you could tell it's real and there's an old page from april 23rd to may 1968 and this was out of my um, <laughs> acetate sheet. This was the acetate page. I thought, why not? I printed on one side of it. This is actually a pattern, a really old pattern from 50, 1952 or 1953. And I cut that out. This was just out of one of my books. I coffee stained that one. This is an envelope I printed her design on it. Again, this is just another one I printed on and coffee stained it. So that's very thin, simple, easy peasy signatures in here. I just love these dollar bills. Like these, these are so fragile. And look at this. It's real money. And you can tell by the feel of it. But I thought that would be really pretty souvenir and it's purple so that's why it's in here <laughs> so there's lots of purple in it so you can see how thin this signature is but it won't be when i'm done so i want to really do six signatures i seriously seriously want to do six that's why i got them all nicely sitting out here now my album will be I know it's five inches by eight inches. And you know what? That's why I put this these on here. Because these parts, these outer parts here, the top and the bottom, are going to show in the spine. So I thought these doilies would be super pretty up there. And that's why I did that. So how is your son's girlfriend, KK? And you could tell, like, I mean, this, if you put all six signatures together, that's a hefty size book. But I just didn't want to bulk it out because I keep learning my lesson. I'm doing things the hard way and the wrong way. So what do I want to do for starters is start trimming. And each page, so I'm going to just do a signature at a time, set one aside, tie this back up because they're just flimsy as heck and 
and work on one signature and get it done. And then I'll think about sewing it in. So I just think this is going to be a lot easier if I want to, like I said, gesso something or mod podge it. You know, I could water down my, my gesso. Just, just to make like something slippery uh, easier for you to write on. So I need to find out the exact measurement of my thing. And I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to disturb this. You can see it's drying very nicely. Except where it's super thick. But I forget my measurements. <laughs> so I'm going to measure. Very careful. Ruby JK said bumps and cuts, and she said she has a bad headache and the airbags didn't deploy. Minor injuries, thank God. Oh, praise Jesus. Yes. So this is five and a half by eight. So I want to I want to make my pages a little smaller because I plan on doing some really cool um, dividers this time around. Put this back up there. All right. So I'm going to cut all my pages down to five and a half. This one here. But I'm actually going to go a quarter inch uh, smaller. Oh, geez. I've got Mod Podge everywhere here. Dang it. So I want to do it a little wee bit shorter. So we will go five and a quarter. Just because if I want to stick things out, so we'll do them five and a quarter. So let's find the center of this. Uh, oily. All right. There we go. What is that noise? That's coming from the strange hood. Wow. Two, three. So one, two, uh, one, two, and a half, and a half. That makes five and one eighth. Come here for a second. Okay, guys, I need to check something. Something's going on. Okay. We got gotcha. you. What else is everybody else working on today? Hmm. Share, share, share. That's sweet, KK. Thank you. Yes, it is, KK. It's always you. Oh, I bet it'll be nice, Karina. You got, but you have pictures for it of her already, or are you gonna have her mama put them in? And your album's beautiful, Kathy. Quite envious. I am working on baby book number two for the baby, for the grandbaby, making four in total for her first year, one for every three months. 
I finished the first one. So now I'm starting book two. Hi, Nikan. How are you? Ruby had to jump into off and take care of something. Hopefully she'll be back shortly. So you're stuck with me. Huh, it looks like they jumped off too. So they were having problems. So we'll just hang out and see what's going on. We'll wait and hear to hear from her. <coughs> Please, KK. You already got snow. You've heard of snow thunder. You might get some if you keep that up. You know, watch me score tape. <laughs> Just what you always wanted to do is watch somebody score tape. I don't know. There was a bunch of noise. Jeff said he needed her for something, and she took off. Looks like she's back. Or at least her picture's back. So we lost her picture, but it looks like her picture's back. Maybe they had a power problem or something. That noise you said wasn't you. No, thank you, Nick. And you can keep it. I don't like it. Snow is icky. I'm back. Sorry. Something's okay. Going, something's going on with our uh, kitchen fan. All right, so we want Rich this. Did you have a problem with it the other day, too? It was leaking or something? Well, now that it leaked, I guess it done some damage because the light turned on and it started buzzing. Uh, and Jeff and I were just kind of freaking out. So we want to cut this. So you had to go turn the breaker off to it. So I'm going to cut all my doilies at one two and a half and one eighth so two and a half and one eighth on each side of the center so one two and a half and one eighth so i'll cut it there one two oh wait this is eight inches ah yeah it's five that way god i'm so dumb sometimes i was wondering that's a lot to cut off okay so what we'll do is we'll go to the four mark because that's half of eight and we will do one two three and one two three and seven eighths is where i want to cut these three and seven eighths so three and seven eighths so i'm going to pull off all the doilies i think and just trim them all this at once then i don't have to worry about doing this again these are the only ones that I have to be particular with. So I'm going to pull them all off carefully, not muck up my signature too much. Because that's the height that it's got to be. I want to go about a quarter inch shorter, not it. And same with on the inside of my pages. I want them to be a quarter inch shorter. So we'll do them all at once. Way easier <laughs> and faster. All right.
That's not going to work. So there's one side. Little crooked. Oh well. I'm far from being perfect. No, you're always perfect, Ruby. Oh, <laughs> when things. But you know. <laughs> there we go. It was such a blessing to have baby Chase overnight Friday night. He is such a good baby. Oh my goodness. It was he was so good for us. He played in his bath. He giggled with us. It was just it was amazing. That's and then what you always want is a good baby. Yes. So there that can go back. Put each one back. I don't I want to stay organized. Because if I put these aside, I'll forget where I put them. And then I'll be like, what are I doing my doily? Right? Mm-hmm. You'll all be saying, but Ruby, remember you put them. Uh-huh. will all be yeah. Uh-huh. All right. I'm really glad to have these all trimmed down to the size I need now. And I'm just going to hold these closed with the binder butcher twine just for now. That's all. Just so they don't fall all over the place there. All right. That makes me happy. Now we need to trim this page down. So the width of this has to be five and a quarter. So I've got to trim off a wee bit. And then I'm going to trim off this white edges. And I want to distress all of them. So, what color distressing do I use, guys? Great. Huh? I said grape. Grape would be nice. How dark do you want it to be? Well, I think that a grape would be pretty, don't you? Yeah. So let's see how this fits in here. These should be the same size, but they're not. Hi, Janice. Do you have a scrap piece you could try the grape on and see what it looks like? Yeah, I can. All right. Seven. Oh, well, these are supposed to be a quarter inch shorter, right? Yeah, so I'm going to take off another little, make it seven and three quarters. That's what we'll do. Okay. So I'm going to write that down on something. This paper. Do I have any paper here? I got scraps sitting here. Sitting in the garbage. Right on top. So seven and three quarters and five and one quarter wide. This is five and one quarter. Okay. We are good. All right. I'm not very I'm not very imaginative when it comes to distressing. I usually use either antique linen or vintage photo. Well, I kind of think the grape, if I have a grapey color, let me see what I have for purples. I know you had that one real pretty purple, but I think you used it up on that one album. See this preserves? I don't want that. Because I remember that's an ucky color. Um, what color is that? Iced spruce. Don't 
want it. That one called Concord or something. Blue, green. Hmm. Nope. Not anything there I want to use. Ah. Wilted Violet. That looks pretty good. Get rid of some of the Mac. Let's leave some in here. They belong in here anyway. All right. That Wilted Violet looks. I have two of them. I have two wilted vines. Oh, one, they're both. Okay, well, let's try it. I think this might work. Yes, this is a pretty color. Look. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. It brings right. the purple. Makes yeah. purple pop a little more. Yep. All right, so I have two of them. I don't think I have a refill. I couldn't get a refill for it, I think. Let me just check. What's it called? Wilted Violet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. Pretty sure I couldn't get it. I know I had one for seedless. It doesn't look like preserve. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to get a refill ink for that. But anyway. Okay. Maybe we'll try one of the other ones. All right. Let me grab. Um, where did I put those? See, I put stuff away now and I don't remember where I put them. Oh, I see them. You don't have to call the cops. <coughs> They're all good. You don't have to call the cops. Yay, no police today. No. Hmm, I wonder if I can make this a little bit darker, darker purple. Let's see what Seabus grapes will do. This looks really dark. Mix it. That's what we'll do. Okay, there we go. Ooh, love it. All right. So I'm just going to ink up even my doily. Just 
kill the dogs now. There's. There. Hmm. I wonder if I should just hit it in places with uh, the inker. Yeah, let's just do that. Get out of there. Okay, beautiful. Yep, this is a pretty color and it matches really nicely. Beautiful. And because and I'm not being very careful because it's a junk journal and you don't want to be you know, you don't have to be nice and neat about anything. And I used 110 pound cardstock. This is really thick paper for everything. Everything. All right. So that's ready in there. Okay, nice. This one, we will trim it down. Oops. To uh, five and a quarter, right? Five and one quarter. And I'm going to take off this crooked edge. Maybe. kind of do have to do the inside you can see it but it's very faint okay so that's the next page love it and now this little guy, this is so pretty. I'm going to Mod Podge this. So I want to trim it up so it's nice and straight a bit. And we're going to Mod Podge this. And I think I'm going to put, yes, where are they? We'll Mod Podge on the uh where'd i put them right here so we'll put the little ones on we'll put one on each side to journal on all more mod podging okay so let me close this up Let me just kind of ink up these edges here if I can. Turn it a bit purpley. Crumple it up maybe. There we 
go. All right, move that out of the way. Move these guys out of the way. Actually, I'm going to probably ink these up a little bit. And you can see these are paper thin because this is just ordinary, regular computer paper that I printed these on. So I didn't want to fatten up my book too, too much. And that's why I kept these thin. All right. March Podge time. We talk out loud so we get expert advice from ourselves. We do? Yep, that's why we talk out loud. Right. No, I'm not going to go heavy duty with the Mod Podge. Stick another one down. Well, this is wet. So let's move this. That's annoying. There we go. So cool. So now I'm going to dry this part. Let's stiff and get right up. Be right back.
Oh, that's that stiffened it right up beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. And I don't think that paper is going to go anywhere anytime soon. Look at how cute. That is just pretty. I love it. So let's get the other side glued. Watch podged. I see where a spot right there I missed. So, all right, let's get you glued down. This out of the way. Wipe my board. There we go. And let's get her dried. One went on crooked. Oh, I can't move it now. My chat is gone. Get a new chat. I can't see nobody talking. said unable to connect to chat that's why to get a new one oh wow this really stiffened it up beautifully
turn my glue gun on. You know what? I think I'm going to put... Wow. <laughs> Hear it? <laughs> that is pretty, and I love it. So now we need to make a crease. Because that really stiffened her up. Lovely. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, again. That is so gorgeous. You guys like? It's very pretty. That I looked for thing. a handkerchief yesterday and couldn't find any. I'm so jealous of yours. <laughs> Don't be jelly. That needs a little bit of lace up there, I think. You know, just uh, flat lace. Not anything strong or thick or anything. And see, I didn't Mod Podge over these, so you can still journal on them. So I'm just waiting for my glue gun to heat up. And while I'm waiting for that... I think I'm going to gesso this, just very whitewash it so you are able to write on that. Let's see. So, um, heavy gesso. And I want to rubber it down. So let me move all my stuff out of the way. Well, that's fine. And I want to move that. So I want some water. Oh, my God, it's empty. I'll be right back. Lynn, do you want to talk for a minute? Sure, I'll talk. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk just like Charlie Brown's teacher. Blah, blah, blah. I know. I'm weird. <sighs> See my cute little owls? They're so cute. They're going to go on the baby book. I just have... They're going to hold the ribbon for the closure. This is the first baby book. And that's a little bunny on the front where the closure is going to tie around. Little beads with her name on it. Little folders. I like this paper. My daughter picked it out, but it's like the little tags. This one says, first time holds head up. This one says, first giggle. There's one, uh, first veggies, first fruits, places for pictures. She found these cute little paper clips that look like coat hangers. They're really, really cute. Oops. Okay, I can't do anything. I'm not very coordinated. And that. And that. These are just more little text spots. I made this one. I like the way this one went. Anyway, it goes. Learn from Ruby. That way, that way, and that way. So there's three little spots to write and put pictures. This one says, hello, my dear. And there's more journaling spots. A night-night one with little sleepy clouds, a little like lace pocket cards. Place right here for like her mom's information, her great-grandparents. Her dad's side and her great and her grandparents on her mom's side. It's just it's just a little cute little book for the first little book. This is for one to three months, and then the next book is for going to be four to six months. And then I'm doing an um, seven to nine months, eight, twelve that way. And then there'll be I'm going to make a little box to put them all in. That's what I'm doing. Hi, I got to close on this one. Hey, Angela. 
Sounds you, like you get, you're busy doing a big old project. Yeah, it's not that big. There's only four pages in the book, so it doesn't take long. It's just me being picky about how it looks. <laughs> hi, Angela. Oh. Hey, hi, teacher. <laughs> hey. Y'all, it has gotten so warm here. Yeah, here too, but mine is calm before the storm because we're getting a major storm tonight. Oh, we ain't getting it. It is so warm. We ain't getting nothing. It's supposed to be 70 degrees Monday. Really? Yeah, flip-flop weather. Of course, well, flip-flop flip weather for Angela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's flip-flop weather when it's 55. It's on today. It's on today. Hi, Ann. I, I highly doubt, and I might be putting my foot in my mouth, but I don't think so, that we'll see any more snow this year. Okay, how do you like that? Dry her up. I've got an idea. So let's uh put this is a baby. But I have an idea, and I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it anyway. I have fallen in love with this new fragrance at Bath and Body Works. I went by there yesterday, and um, it's called One in a Million, and it's got oh, this gardenia smell. Oh, I love the smell of gardenia. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to try and blend on here. And then I'm gonna Oh uh, Candy the pen was Angela, Jeff, and me. And I'm Lynn. Yeah. And let it soak for a minute and dab it off. I love the way Ruby calls me teacher now. Yep. <laughs> Huh, I'm a little teacher. <laughs> Are you my favorite student? I am. Hey. Let's not KK the plot plotting against you. No, KK is the teacher's pet. No. <laughs> I love both of them equally. <laughs> Diplomatic there. Yep. Wow, this is kind of grungy. I'm wet. Now, I'm going to take this gesso and I'm going to whitewash this. You remember, I don't know if y'all did this back in school, but I remember it, it was in elementary school. I had to do a history project and the teacher told us to take a piece of our paper, you know, ink it up, uh, soak it in a uh, tea diet or coffee stain it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Then she said to lay it on top of a stove or above a candle and put burn marks in it to give it that, like it had um, 
you know, holes and burn marks in it. Yeah. To give I it that life. A long time. Do what? To make it look like it had survived a long time or it's been in a fire or something. Yeah. Exactly. I wonder if you could do that to this type of paper. Because I can't. You probably could. I cannot remember what paper I used when I had to do the project. Don't even go there with me. I don't even know. I didn't, you know, but um, it, that just made me think of that because I remember mine being dark like that. And I had to uh, hand write, I had to hand write the um, Declaration of Independence on it. Yeah, I remember stuff like that. Yeah, kind of cool. Like if uh, Ruby would hold it over a candle and kind of give it a burn look. <laughs> Anybody else remember doing that? Let me go over to the YouTube side of things. Hang on. I gotta find the YouTube video. Oh, he's cute. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> I couldn't imagine negative 25 wind chills. Hell no. Mm -mm. Like right now, I could go open my front door if I wanted to. Whoops, I forgot I muted while I was drying. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to leave it that. Oh, I would like a little bit of dark purple. Um, let me get my dark. Let me get some shades of purple here. Where's my purple? Prepare, prepare, prepare. All right. Do a little bit of different colors. Purples. I probably moved it. Oh, wicked. Oh, wow. Look at this. Hold on. Oh, wicked cool. Wow. The noise. Oh. Oh. That was wicked cool. Now, let me get a different color for the front part of it. I want silver, gold, maybe white. Nice white. Yes. That is flipping adorable, guys. I wish you could see it.
I don't want to smudge the ink. Look at this. Can you see the dark light? Yes. Now on this side, which we want this way, I'm going to find some other colors. Um, maybe some pure white. And, uh, well, do I want to use pigment white? No. I'll just use white and silver. Soft silver. Yeah, white and silver. We'll do that. So, I'm going to ink it all up with silver first. And then I'm going to ink it up with some white, just in spots. Just kind of... Yeah, Tiki. Is he out of his cage? Mm, probably. Woo-wee. Can you see that? Ooh. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I'll dry it in a minute. And hey, where did you get the Madala straight stamp? This I got from Simon Says Stamp a couple of years ago. Yeah. I don't but I think they still have it. I think they really do. This pain in the butt to clean though. Yeah. Oh, good enough. All right, I'm going to dry that up so you can see it. So we just took that and made a very plain piece of paper, a little grungy. So that's what it looks like up close. Can you see it? I love it. Very faint. So now I'm going to literally ink these up now. It's kind of damp. And I think that's going to look super cool in the book. But I think it needs a little more white wash on that. It's too dark. And I want people to be able to write on that. So let's just take a wee bit more. Water it down. Let's now you're see. watering down just so? Yeah. Yeah. To make a white wash. There you go. Where's KK? She was here. Yep. There we go. So I just toned it down. That's basically all I did. So now it's easy to write on it. Much easier. I'm having fun doing all kinds of mixed media. And that's what my intention is for this out, um, journal. So I'm going to do a bunch of different mixed media. And I'm going to be getting up my Lindy spray that Angela gave me because it's purple. Purple. It's so purple. 
It's super pale. It is. That's not the one. I can't remember what the color I sent you was. It is. Uh, it's sitting right there. I forget. The, I'll get it. Now we'll dry it. Ooh, I love what the oxide ink did. Oh, wow. Love it. Thank God for baby wipes. So that's that. But do you see how the oxide ink, it ran. I love it. So I can't really close this yet because it's not completely fully dried. Okay. Put this back for now. Um, give me a baby wipe because my paintbrush will dry. So I'm too lazy to go throw it in that bucket of water. So I'll just leave it in a wet baby wipe. That's all I'll do. Whoops. Put it over there. All right. That is super pretty. Okay. Now, let me get some lace for... Ooh, did that ever get stiffer now? So I'm going to let this air dry a little bit, too, before I put it in the page. So I'll set it aside. This is nice and stiff. And this was a handkerchief. Look at that. It's so but did you whitewash it? What? What did you do? Whitewash it to stiffen it? No, I Mod Podged it. Oh, okay. Yep. Mod Podge. Let's put some purple lace on And I've got my brand new glue gun from Angela Holtz. Yep. Which I love. Yesterday. I was going to ask you if you used it yet. <laughs> I'm about to. I've got the glue in it. Ready to go. Is it so much better? Uh-huh. A lot better. We hear you, Pee Pee. Pee Peeps. We hear you. I wonder why people can't find the blue one anymore. Because they stopped making it. They're making that other stupid one. Oh, fuck. Thank you, Kathy. There's KK Ang Angela. She's still there. Oh, she's not in the panel. Hello. No, she's not in the panel, but she's in the audience. Oh, there you are, KK. Whoops. Mm. 
All right. Very good, my love. Very good, my love. Now, I woke up this morning with my right ear plugged up. I'm hoping that it'll unplug itself. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Well, see, I'm going to tell you what's hard on people in the South. When it goes from 8 degrees to almost nearly 70 within a 48-hour span, uh -huh. and it does it back and forth, back and forth, man... It's horrid on people with allergies and stuff. That's why some people are like, you want to live, don't, don't move to the South. If you don't want, if you want consistent weather, you will never get it. Nope. You will never get it. Oh, that's pretty. So, so the theme of this one, the theme color is purple. Yeah, it's Dreams Etc. as brand new romantic notion set. Yeah, and the one we showed it last night. Just of a lot of purple. Mm. Nice. Yeah. This year's color of the year, uh, Pantone picked it out, but I just don't see it being used much this year because I saw a lot of it last year. Um, it's coral. Ugh, yeah. The, the color coral. All right. Mash it. That is so pretty. I can't even tell you how cute that is. It is so cute. So now we've got this page and this page done. And then we're just going to go through and decorate them all. Like so. How is that? Oh, my God. So should I put it in the middle? I need your decision. I know this has to go in the middle. But should this go in the middle like this? Yeah. See, it already bulked it. <laughs> It's already bulky, guys. Already bulky. So that goes like that. And then we have this one, which it goes like that. We're going to put ephemera on that. All right, so that's done. On to the next page. Um, this page here. Just gonna trim it down to I forget now seven and three quarters. Yes, seven and three quarters by actually we're gonna do something different. Let's do some ribbon. I don't want to rip that date off.
Okay. Let me see if this is wider than five. And, no. Okay. We're good. We're good, good, good in the hood. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Give me love. I'll give you love, all right. I'm thinking your edges. What more do you want? <laughs> right? <laughs> You're making it beautiful. I am making it beautiful, yes. I don't know what more it wants. So now we've got a little tear in it, which is okay because I'm going to put something there, maybe a vellum ephemera. So that one is done. That can go in the book. Uh, these can go in the book. Nancy says the back of the paper looks interesting, too. The back of which one, Nance? The love one. Oh, yeah. I ripped that out of a newspaper from 1968. It's ripped out. Now, I wanted to stick a purple thing in each one of my books. So it has to go that way. So that one goes on there and that one goes on top. And I want to leave this kind of wrecked like that. Is this wider than five? Nope. Um, hmm, thinking. I know what I'll do. Let me just get my punch. I'll be right back. Whoops. The door's about to fall out. We'll do this side. Okay. 
Does this look better? Freshly torn out of a book? <laughs> there. <laughs> This is not even, so let's fix it. Much better. Much better. I love this paper coffee stained like this. And I still have two music books full to rip the pages out and coffee stain. Yeah. Oh, I know. All right, so I'm going to leave that in the middle of that. This one. Um, it's so fragile. Jesus. I, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. It's a little short. Um, and it's not long enough, is it? So, I'm going to turn it off a little bit. Okay. I think I'm just going to make like little pieces torn off. Hang on, ladies. I'll be right back. Okay. This paper is very fragile. KK says, guess what she just finished? What'd you finish, KK? Why aren't you coming in here? What did she just finish? Oh, her paper line? Yep, her paper. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Now this one here, I think I'm going to ink up with this um, I want it to look. Wow, it's going to rip. I had a feeling it was going to do that. It's very fragile paper. I think I'll just be very fragile with it. Way to go, KK. Yay. Okay, okay. I like the, the teals and the purples in it. That's good enough. That's going to go there. Oh, wait. Remember I said I wanted some purple of these pages in all of my... I want at least one in each of my... Because these are all purple. So we got six... Four, five, six. So I want to put at least one of those in each of my, my uh, journals. 
or my signatures. And I know I have a thin one. And wherever I have the thin one, I'm going to put that paper bag. Okay, so we're going to stick one of these in. Each one of my signatures. Better do the inside. It's, you can't really see it. can go on that page right there this is for one of my skinny ones this is a glossine envelope I painted on so we're gonna prep it and we're gonna cut this open so we have a pocket and open it all the way I did Hi. And we'll just ink it up a little bit. And then I just printed her collection on this glossy envelope. I don't know how that's going to work, but okay. Why not? All right. So that's going to go in there. And then this says journal. I'm going to have it that way. Yes. So. I don't know. I like that way for it better. And we have this old paper. I'm going to leave this. I'm pretty sure it's not oversized. This is kind of nice that whoever gets this journal is going to have a piece of from a Thunder Bay in here history from my city. Because that's where a lot of my vintage stuff came from. trim it off a little bit. And I'm going to keep this. Actually, I think I'm going to whitewash this. Mm -hmm. So you can... Now, nah, I'm going to put journaling pages over that. I don't want to wreck that picture. Looks like a Leo Dianardi. Leo... Pockets cute too, KK. I like the pockets. They're very cute. 
I'll have a look at it when I'm done with my live show. Lastly, an envelope that's going to close. Actually, this isn't big enough. I wonder if I folded it this way. If, uh, I could put tight. Mm, let me see. That is not, well, let me put it to the test. Where is it? Oh, yes, it will work. Never mind. Um, Nancy says that Thunder Bay is very beautiful. She lives down in South Niagara. Oh, Nancy. I've been to Niagara many times in my life. Love it. Well, whoever gets this gets a piece of Thunder Bay in it because I got a lot of ephemera in here that I got from the antique store yesterday. And that's going to be a blessing to get. One of these don't work. One of these broke on me, and it's this one. It won't close. It's like the string is broke. So I gotta remember to that one out of my face. All right. Whoops, I need it that way. Hmm. I don't even really need to glue that down. So, nope. Because nothing will fall out of it once it's up against the, the book. And I'll just put Vimmer there. So, that completes signature one. Well, it doesn't complete it, but it completes all the preparation of and all, all of it's cut. That like that. That like that. Wow, this one looks like it's yeah, it's too big. Let's fix this right now. It's too wide. Let's re-ink it. Now it should be good. Good. Now it's good. Okay. That's going to go there. Um, yeah, it's too high. So let me bring it off that. I don't want it sticking out. Oh I want everything to stay within the boundaries. There we go. Our music note, a receipt, a little piece of formula. Right. This one. 
this one. I shouldn't be laughing. Uh, I shouldn't be laughing. And that. So there is one. There's one signature. Not too shabby, hey? Nope, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful with all the purple in it, I'm telling you. I'll take a half a dozen. I'll get right on that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll be sealing this envelope like that. Once I throw the signature in, it's going to be a hidden, hidden sewing. I'm going to, that's all I'm going to do today. But I want to see if how, um, how I did on my cover, which is drying very nicely. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And it is going to be flexible. Oh, this is coolio. wonder if I could rub, yes, on here. Rub it on the, on the creases. I could see it's still not dry in lots of spots, but hey, that looks wicked. And then once it's dry, I'll be gluing it over. Yes, gluing it over. Look at how pretty that's going to be. I do have to trim this out. That's going to be a nice journal. See, I did about three, one, two, almost, it's two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths spine, but I did a big spine because we want all our signatures to fit all decorated in it. So this is how it looks with, see how flat I gave myself room. So this is the actual size of the signatures, and I think they're perfect size. Yeah. Because I got room to make tab. You know, I'm gonna have room for everything. I love this. I love how it's turning out. And these will open. I love that fabric. I do. I love this fabric. I do. I think it's turning out super pretty. And I'm going to randomly add these as I get the signatures all or all the. See, like, all I have to do now is put those, uh, decorate all of those, sew them up, and put them in. I have a little thing that's in the video. This is super cute. And I'll be using her paper on the inside. Like, I don't want to decorate it. I don't have any cut out yet, but her paper will be on the inside. And it will hide this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some lace here. Lace across here. It's gonna be it's gonna be gorgeous, guys. I promise you. I'm so excited. What pages in it? I really thought that was cute. I should glue this down. I made you take a little camera and put it. See? I made, yeah. I made enough for each one. 
Look that and look at the dragonflies right on the front. Love it. Love, 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 guys. I really do. The dragonflies are beautiful. I know. I love them. Baby's in torturing grandpa. It's funny. Oh, she is. Yeah, she's in there where he's playing video games. And she's just in there yelling. Oh, what a yelling. good time. <laughs> what a good just time. yelling for grandpa. Yep. Okay, cover's done. Now I got to get the pages in it. What are you making, Lynn? It's the second. Um, baby album for the of uh, the four that oh, I'm making. Oh yeah yeah yeah, right. See, it's cute. Bye, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. There we go. And then these will just fold up like so. And then all the edges will be covered. Whoopsies. This is going to be very pretty. And that's how that goes. So cute, guys. That's going to be so cute. I'm excited. I love how that's going to turn out. Oh, Yep, that's going to be pretty. All right, I'm just going to leave that, let it all dry. It's, gonna, it's very pliable. Hi, KK. Very, very pliable. So. Hi, KK. Where's she going? Uh, you said you were going, so everybody's saying bye. Oh, yeah, I am going. All right, then. Oh, and I want to stick one of these glossine bags. It's a turquoise color, but it's the color is in this. Yeah. So we'll stick that in the skinny, the real skinny one that I have. All right, guys. God bless you. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Bye everyone. God bless. Mwah. Love to you all.